I'm within a Kwamu, so as you can rightly see behind me, that's the Adomi Bridge. Today, the Queen of Denmark is within the state to interact with the Kwamu Hini and also explore their common history and heritage. So come along as we know more of this visit. <laughs> The Denmark Queen arrived in Akwamu at about 12.30 p.m. She was warmly welcomed into the St. Royal Hotel, where she addressed the press. Oh yes, I've read it all. You're going to get the Danish business. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because they have to come yes. to where she came yes. to yes. visit yes. and relax. Yes. That's, That's a good tourist idea. tip. Yes. Okay. So kindly received, first of all by the president, but also by everybody else I've come into contact with. Even going through these villages here on our way to this place, where uh, people were waving and looking kind, kindly at us, and um, it was really was a wonderful experience and these days will be something I shall always, always remember. She then cruised on the Vuta River to a Kwamufi where high profile dignitaries waited for her arrival. In this shot is the Queen of Denmark approaching. She is cruising on the Vuta River, a historic moment here in Ghana as the Queen of Denmark visits Equamuland. She's with the tourism minister, Madam Catherine Afiku, and then Ghana's ambassador to Denmark, Madam Olinu. So just observe. That's the Queen of Denmark. Working closely with Denmark's ambassador to Ghana. She'll be heading to Ekwamufi here in the eastern region. And you can actually see a banner to welcome her, Odini Hukwa Fakuto III, paramount chief of the Ekwamu state. And the people of Ekwamu state welcome Queen Margaret II of Denmark. To a Kwamu home of the great prince Asamani.
at the palace of the Kwamu Paramount chief, a deba of chiefs and people was held in her honor amid special drumming and dancing. <laughs> Two leaders exchanged presents, including a staff, a plaque, cloth, and bottle of drinks. And this is uh, the plaque that sort of binds our commune in Denmark. As many who went to study the Dutch language, the Danish language in uh, Istanbul Castle, later had a plan and overtook the castle with the aid of uh, the skin. That's about 1633. Because you want to help us, we have to help you help us. And that is the stuff that ordinary wants to give to you, to send to Denmark. Today, we didn't have the opportunity to look at some of the beautiful things that exist between the two nations, that is Ghana and Denmark, and for that matter, Akonu representing Ghana now with those artifacts. We are going to have the opportunity to look at them. And I think very much forward to see more of your fascinating stories about the connections between Denmark and this part of Ghana. In a long time ago, but I am touched to know that you still cherish the memory of those times and that you keep up the story. And that is something I should take back with me to Denmark in particular. Memory of this the Queen was then ushered into the Akwamu Royal Museum, where the Queen was shown a bunch of keys to the Osu Castle, seized by an Akwamu Prince from the Danish in pre-independence Ghana. Attendees and some natives were impressed with the occasion and expressed hope that a visit will strengthen cultural and economic ties between Ghana and Denmark. See, we are very happy because this is the first time in our relationship that a certain queen of Denmark has visited us. But we are very happy. And uh, you can see the euphoria is, is palpable. Once the queen of Denmark came to Akwamu to see the keys, it's very historic. We will partner them so that they could support us to get youth, job for our youth all over. That is the most important thing. From Akwamu Fie in the eastern region, this is Gabriel Obudai Togwashon reporting for Metro News. Let's <laughs> go,